hey guys it is me simone in this video we're going to kind of talk about the direction i'm going to be heading this channel in as the year goes on so i've been kind of thinking about what i wanted to do with my youtube channel and what i like doing in this hobby and the theme i want to kind of present with this channel and you know i do realize that i like a lot of different things i love to dabble in things but my consistent theme with my channel is I like to make stuff. Whether that's mini albums, books, cards, or 3D projects like this beautiful box here or this um, thimble? Not thimble. Uh, spool. The spool. Um, I just love making it. The process of making these is just so much fun. The process of decorating them and, you know, getting them and finishing them is something that I just really enjoy personally. Um, even if I don't have a use for them. Like, I don't have a use really for this. I gave my last one away, actually. I didn't have a use for it. What I am doing is just giving it away. I filled this box with candy. And I gave it to a friend um, that I worked with. Co-worker. And that was my gift to her. You know, have a fun day at work. But I didn't have a plan for that item. I just made it. And then eventually I figure out what I'm going to do with it. Um, so sometimes that's why you'll see little things I give you guys if you do my do giveaways and stuff. I might throw in one of these goodies because I don't want them to sit in my room and collect dust if that one's a little dusty. But um, I want them to have a home, be loved. And I don't really have a place to display my um, finished projects. That's my reason. Uh, <laughs> so I wanted to kind of get a channel towards making and um creating items so that's going to be a variety of things so i'm going to get projects like if i can stand up and get this one um the this project you know i have two of them the other one i have two of these these little countdown flippers because i had to make one of them to see what i was going to be doing and then the other one to show you guys how i did it because there was mistakes that i made in this one and issues that happened that I wanted to fix and things I did that were very time consuming and etc 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 but I enjoy the process of making them um and I loved how they turned out regardless so let's put those back up and I have more ideas with the cut file that I made for you guys I'm going to show you guys more ideas on uh, what you can do with that. But that is basically what I wanted to get this channel towards. So we're going to make all kinds of things. We're going to make DIY supplies. Make books. Make scrapbooks. Well, mini albums. Make three projects themed the holiday season using dyes and stamps and paper pads that I have on hand. Um, because that's really what I enjoy doing. And it's not really a one size fits all for me like I know there are channels that are dedicated to scrapbooking and dedicated to mini album making or dedicated to uh, 3d uh, uh, hauls you know just whatever but that's kind of where I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my art channel my crafty channel whatever you want to call it because it's better to have an idea of the theme so you know kind of what you want to do and what you want to show because there's some things I don't show on this channel like I do scrapbook but I don't show you guys that I scrapbook on this channel because that's not really what I want to do and um, it's not really what I put on this channel so I think that kind of sums up I think eventually I will make a video make like a, a channel intro I do have an upcoming project that I'm working on I do have some DIY supplies that I want to do and then look around and see what's coming out in 2020 and see if I can make anything else. But that's what I'm going to keep in the um, vein of making, creating, using our supplies we have, paper, stamps, dyes, to make beautiful pieces of art, they are pieces of art, that you can give, hang, share, um, hoard, whatever. But the process of making is something that I really enjoy. I just love the process of making things and so that is what I'm going to show you guys more and more on my channel is making stuff, um, stretching your stash, 
taking a couple things and making something crazy out of them that you didn't think you could make because you didn't have you know X, Y, and Z to make it. And so that's kind of what I want to do on this channel, and that's what you're gonna see on my channel. Um, so I think that sums everything up. I want to thank you guys for sticking with me. Thank you for giving me some constructive criticism on my videos and for all the nice comments I get. I do want to shout out to um, everybody who comments and um, for that special person who's been commenting pretty much in all my videos. You know who you are. I really want to thank you for it. Um, so commenting and liking my videos just helps my videos get seen by more people to share the love and the creativity. Um, I think that's really about it. I do have a few, few ideas I have coming up for Valentine's Day. Spoiler alert, I'm very excited about this project. I'm going to make a radio. A little cute radio. You'll see how it turns out. I'm very excited. I just kind of got the idea from seeing a digital uh, cut file that I liked, but it was not a radio. It was something else. I forgot what it was, but I really liked it. The shape of it reminded me of like an old-fashioned radio, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, a Valentine's Day themed radio! Awesome!" So I'm gonna figure out how to do that. I'll show you guys that. Um, so let me see for that. Another thing I would put out there too is I'm not going to be doing a lot of shopping this year. I don't have. Um, a huge desire to keep buying a bunch of stuff. I have a lot of craft supplies, so I don't want to keep buying certain things um, for a while just to use what I have, make sure I'm using them. I haven't bought paper in a long time. Most things I've been buying is like gold foil paper because I use it on my projects, like hence this one, this one, um, and the chocolate box I showed you guys in my last video, and then glitter paper because I don't really have a lot of that. but like pattern paper no because I have a lot of pattern paper like right here is all my pattern paper and it's it's a lot for one person to use I haven't been scrapbooking that much so I don't go through it that often um so I haven't bought pattern paper in a long time I don't plan to buy any more pattern paper until I you know do a sizable dent in here because I'm pretty sure this is about like oh gosh I don't even know 400 sheets of paper and this is not all my paper I have a couple um, packs of paper that are around my room that are maybe holiday or just ones I have not put in color coordination sections. Butchered that, but. Um, and then I have pattern paper. I mean, um, cardstock that I have in here. But I do still buy cardstock because I don't have much. Um, I have more now, but I occasionally will buy more cardstock because it's something that I did lack. For a long time, um, so I just want to kind of bring that up. I know hauls are one of my most popular videos, but one I don't need to keep buying a lot of things on AliExpress. I've been taking a small break because of the big um, scrapbooking made simple shop that didn't hop sale. I got a lot of stuff in that um, hop sale discounts. I really haven't had. Um, one of the funds into uh, the desire to buy things and I still don't I have a couple more dies I might be buying because I want to get some larger dies where is it what's over here earlier oh here it is this is a large die here I love these dies they're so big I don't know why I got a square I mean a rectangle I thought that was the worst decision I made <laughs> I was like oh small why don't you get a rectangle you know you can cut this out with your own your Cricut cutter. Um, but I'm going to get some circles and ovals because I do have an electric diaphragm machine, but it is more of a hassle to pull that thing out or to even use it because I have to go online, open the web browser, do a size. I don't know what size I want to do. It's a little more time consuming. So I like the ability to do this and use my scraps. It's a little easier than on my Cricut. It's way more work so sometimes I, I'm willing to just pay to get some more dyes in my stash certain ones ones I know I will use constantly that will you know use you know make a 
sense for me random odd shapes I rather just take the time and do it on my Cricut because I'm not going to use it often so it doesn't matter but I do use basic shapes pretty much in all of my projects so having some bigger sizes I think it's a good investment but that's what you can see while on my channel I make projects I want to make this one again I messed up on it but it's a little window <laughs> see that oh, I think it's so cute um so I won't see too many hauls I have I might be buying a couple more things from AliExpress some more dyes like this one I mentioned earlier and a few others I might pick um but besides that I'm really gonna lay low and then you're mostly gonna see like tools and mediums on here i like buying those so i might have some ink pads i might be getting in the near future um not these but other ones and that's really about it i kind of want to do an update for you guys to kind of tell you where i'm going with this so you, you're going to see a lot more of these chan of these videos of me doing a tutorial breakdown of how i make some of these items i have that radio coming up and then that's like the one idea I have right now for Valentine's Day or Valentine's theme um and I'm just working on some other projects that I'm working on so I think that's really about it so I have to say for this so I'm going to have a couple hauls, I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to do any hauls, it's just not going to be really frequent on my channel, just because I just, be honest, I don't need any more stuff, <laughs> really, um, I don't, so I'm not going to push myself, I really want to use what I have and bring it down to a, a usable amount, because I'm pretty sure I don't need to buy any more pattern paper for another year or two. Um, unless I just take a bunch of photos consistently for the next few months and I use all this paper and scrapbooking, I doubt it. <laughs> I really do. I mean, I do have some scrapbooking to catch up on, but I doubt I'm going to go through all of these paper things. I have that Michaels paper divider and it's pretty much filled with paper. Yep. As if that's not all my paper right there. It's a lot of paper. Okay, I'm rambling now. Much love, guys. I'll talk to you later. I hope you're excited for the new journey that I'm taking on my channel. Just making, being basically a maker. I love the way Tim Holtz phrases that. A maker. We make things. Beautiful pieces of artwork that we make. And donate and give and share the joy of these projects. So, um, that's it. Have a great day, guys. And I'll talk to you later. Bye, get crafty.